get all the startups, academia, incubators, um, investors, farmers, farmer producing organization and the government together in one platform uh, without actually getting into too much of bureaucracy or uh, too much of complications. So it uh, it was like just like a dream, actually. Uh, as soon as I started this uh, by, f uh, first of all, getting my advisory committee, uh, Nagaraja is already there, uh, and there is Dr. Kalpana. Uh, so I said, OK, this would be the first thing because of the fact that we needed very sound people from the ground uh, to uh, be part of the story. And then, of course, we had the entire startup ecosystem uh, as well as academic institutes. So we reached out to about 100 institutes, almost all IITs, NITs, CSIRs, ICARs, universities of agriculture, and so on. Uh, and then uh, we had a complete uh, you know, templatization, and we brought in all the details of uh, existing agriculture technologies as well as those in the lab. Uh, so that you know, the supply end has each of these stages built in. Similarly, we had the demand in place where we went in uh, and talked to uh, almost all the industry members, ITC, uh, we had um, EID Parry, then we had uh, Tata Chemicals, Rallys India, name the organization, Bayer and so on. No, name the organization and all of them uh, were uh, in. So we had about 60 such organizations. Similarly, we realized that farmers need some inputs, uh, which basically most of the ministries have it in silo and they don't seem to be sharing it. So we approached each of these ministries, Ministry of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, ISRO, uh, Meteorological Department, Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Statistics, JAL Ministry, and we got uh, various inputs for uh, the farmers. Uh, uh, and, uh, and we converted that into an application which is easier for them to understand. Uh, so that was a larger piece as well, which we call as Atmanirbha Krishi. So this also is part of the entire Kisan Mitra movement. Uh, similarly, we had I am Bangalore, uh, NASCOM Foundation, National Institute of Agriculture Marketing, all of them pitching in to take the, these agriculture technology presentations and demos to the ground. Because as you uh, as you know, the, the entire milieu was on virtual, uh, you know, uh, sessions and so on. Even today, we are not really going on the ground. So we thought, despite that, we should not stop this movement. We should continue it, and that is how we took um, uh, these sessions. And it continues um, uh, at least two to three sessions in in a week is uh, how we are uh, attempting because we have something like 1,500 agriculture technologies, livestock technologies, and scientific research housed in Kisan Mitra, which is a digital platform now. And Atmanirbhar Krishi is also part of it. And we also felt that uh, we need to have uh, you know something for the families of these farmers. So we attempted something called the Kala Mitra, and uh, we had industry. Uh, Ms. Neelam Chibbar, who is a very no, uh, known name uh, on these areas, to help us with this. So we've got uh, a 6C co uh, you know, uh, construct, which is uh, concept, construct, uh, design, and so on, uh, of uh, each of these um, uh, kalamitra, which is textiles and handloom, which the, uh, the families of the uh, farmers could use. So uh, we have technologies for those uh, housed there. Mm -hmm. And then we have something uh, on agriculture finance as well. Uh, the almost all the uh, sections are, uh, you know, uh, uh, linked to science and technology alone. However, there's one interesting uh, uh, aspect uh, because since I was in the Ministry of Skills and NSTC, I was also cl quite close to Northeast and Nexalite areas, Jammu Kashmir. I've done a lot of work in these areas. So I felt that there should be something for the Himalayan range. So we've got something called Himalayan Bazaar, where we have housed all the farmer producing organizations from different uh, uh, mountain states uh, uh, housed here with a demand uh, from um, self-help groups and demand from ICICI Foundation. Uh, and then uh, we have IKEA Foundation and so on, who work with women and children so that the nutritious uh, uh, you know, food actually from the mountain states is uh, basically garnered by uh, SHGs as well as women and child health groups <coughs> so that, you know, there again, there's a demand and supply balance. So uh, this is how we uh, conceived the entire uh, movement. And, uh, and uh, so far, we have done ab about, I think, 10 months of it. And uh, we, uh, we're quite, uh, you know, uh, popular now. So most organizations have heard about us and they want to engage with us and so on. So we're quite happy with the way uh, it's going. 
uh, I will request uh, Naga to take it on in terms of how we are planning the next steps uh, of going on the ground, uh, especially uh, through regional language, K uh, you know, KVKs. Uh, we also have IFCO as one of our partners and so on. So I request him to take it on from here. Thank you. Great. Uh, thanks, Napna. I think uh, this is a good initiative about how, uh, you know, that just trying to help, try to have the innovators start thinking bigger level. I think the example on Kisan Mitras today, I think was Sapna mentioned, uh, just taking this technology, what we call lab to land. There are out there, uh, there are, to be precise, we are on 1646. As of right now, the technology is available from ICIR, CSIR, IITs, and many engineering colleges, startups. So how do we take this forward to the ground? Because uh, startups always struggle to understand farmer. I think farmers don't trust anybody. So you need to be very, very important to have build the trust. And many of the organizations like KVKs and uh, ICR organizations have built that trust doing, doing that for many, many years. So that is where our idea was to take these technologies and then how do we take it to the ground? So as, as Sapna mentioned, uh, we have so far around 46 uh, webinars have done and around 190 plus technologies been presented, the innovator, the scientists, they all came and spoke about it. But these are all on Zoom calls, right? Every Saturday we have a session organized by NSR Cell IAM and every Tuesday, Thursdays, we have by NIAM, National Institute of Agriculture Management. They are hosting one technology and taking for one hour, right? Because this Saturday session is like a teaser and we will just do a five minute teaser of these technologies. Then we'll take a full blown movie on a Tuesday and take one hour and discuss this technology. But these are all Zoom. I think we know in India, uh, 400 million do not have electricity, right? And uh, 350 don't have 48. So they're not going to be on a Zoom call or floor, or whatever. So the, how do we take it to the ground? I think that's where the next initiative that we are trying. One is about uh, taking about the individual uh, organization taking responsible. I was very glad uh, two weeks back, a uh, Telangana uh, government came forward with the Telangana University. It's launched about taking this many of these technologies to the ground. They're taking this technology and give these uh, startups a grant and they assign them a district in Telangana district, a Telangana state, so that uh, somebody in the ground is handholding them to take the technology and all the uh, grant required for a startup to operate that, ensure the farmers in those villages are adapting to the technology, so they will provide all the support. So this is great about how do we take it to the ground. Similarly, we are going to launch a vernacular form of this Kisan Mitra, right? So we have now English going on. So how do we dubbed in around 17 plus languages that we have? So we have now Telugu and Tamil ready, and we have an organization on the ground like Bhagavatala Charitable Trust, which is for Andhra Pradesh and VIT Engineering Agriculture College in Tamil Nadu. So they're going to take uh, one technology and translate that into Tamil Telugu. And we have just signed up Rajasthan and I am A in startup oasis in Rajasthan, we'll do in Rajasthani. So then on the ground, we are talking to, I'm very glad that KVK has come forward to support this initiative. There are 721 KVKs across the country. You name it, any place across the country, there is a KVK office to reach the farmers. So this uh, AK Singh, he's the uh, director general of Atari. He's opened up the 721 KVKs with 12 zonals. So these KVKs will organize a viewing session in say Tamil or Telugu in their office where farmers can come and converse in the local languages with the innovators. So that's the way forward about how do we take it to the ground. And as Sapna mentioned, we are also in talks with Doordarshan. I think that's the best place today that to reach the entire country because internet penetration is very low in the country. So DD is there across you know 17 channels uh, 17 languages, 26 channels. So we are also talking to Durdashan about taking this 100 of the best technologies, take it to the farmer. And, and last part of it as well, so as um, uh, Sapna was mentioning, so there are some technologies available um, in the labs of these ICR IITs. How do we even help them? We do conduct sessions even for the scientists to take that forward so that uh, they are able to understand the patent process, technology transfer process, and those things as well. Similarly, I'm very glad NABARD, uh, we have a NAP Kisan uh, was, you know, partnering with us 
and uh, you know uh, susila has been very kind enough she says that if a fpo likes the technology that they would like to buy and we are very happy to fund as well so this is another problem startups have because you know their drone will cost 14 lakhs a farmer could not afford to buy but using a drone to apply fertilizer i can do it in one acre in 11 minutes right so this is a potential that they not explore that is a struggle startup has that all their technologies are very expensive the farmers could not afford so they ended up selling it to the middleman or a big corporates and they will try to again you know not able to reach the farmer so this is the idea and the same thing i think and the request to all the people applying to the nerd as well that you need to understand the india is a sachet country so you need we cannot afford a 1 liter shampoo but we will buy 1 rupee shampoo so that's the level that you to innovate take your technology to the farmer otherwise you will never reach the farmer you will be at the middleman level only because just two weeks back one entrepreneur called me that i have an ai to get this crop details of a uh, you know farmer and uh, you know with ai we can predict the uh, uh, you know rate it will have in about a potential good yield i said awesome yeah how are you going to sell it to the farmer he said no no farmer cannot afford i am going to sell it to the insurance companies i said mm-hmm. awesome very good so you are giving more tool for insurance companies squeeze the farmer so this is what you need to do you know innovate for india innovate for bharat don't just look at the sitting in ac room find some ai technology that somebody is going to call and sign up for you right to sweat it thank you so the farmer centricity is a very big aspect of the kinds of innovations it's a qualifying criteria right even to get a serious look at your innovation should be farmer centric not that other players in the value chain will not benefit from it of course you know uh, the stickiness of a solution is when there is greater good beyond uh, the targeted uh, objective of uh, your innovation but the farmer should be at the center of your innovation uh would love to hear from you murgan and nayantara on how cisco is looking to engage and of course this this is the cisco agri challenge with the prize purse funded by uh cisco and you know there's a deeper interest in supporting the winners the semi finalists the finalists in the challenge but it goes beyond funding the challenge and cisco historically has demonstrated that in all its csr partnerships uh, i know that because first hand uh the large incubator has deeply benefited from the technology acumen and the deep knowledge within the cisco employees uh, that they can so forthcoming and sharing as volunteers and as board members of non profits way so would love to hear from you your thoughts on agriculture as well as cisco as well.
Nantara, would you like to add anything? I think uh, just briefly on the uh, Cisco CSR different portfolios that, that we have. The key portfolio that um, such initiatives fall under is the economic empowerment piece that we drive, which is focused on skilling, entrepreneurship, and income generation. So when we were looking at our focus areas and considering the different ways that we could actually have this 10 million potential, uh, definitely the agriculture sector in India is the area where economic empowerment is required. And we also have that user base uh, that we can tap into. And I would just want to echo um, uh, Naga's sentiments also that, you know, it is okay to have solutions that are, you know, in universities and in vaults, but how do we actually ensure that this is uh, adopted at the farmer level, right? And to make it accessible is how we came up with the design of the Cisco Agri Challenge in partnership with the NAJ and the other partners that are uh, onboarded to make sure that a pilot is the key focus uh, of this implementation. Uh, and to give that, um, uh, you know, opportunity to uh, the startups to prove their solutions on the ground uh, with the, the support organizations, whether they are uh, FPO partners or whether they are government bodies. And, and this becomes really how uh, even the market is then going to open their eyes to, uh, you know, this potential solution. Right now it has benefited, say, you know, 1000 households. But if it uh, has made that much of a delta on the ground, it has this 10 million uh, uh, potential. So um, as you are sharing on, on the screen, the idea is to start with a very wide funnel uh, and you know have the experts and, and uh, technical jury members, uh, definitely uh, stakeholders from the government at every stage, filter it down until we come down to that uh, uh, idea that has the 10 million uh, potential. So. Uh, thanks, Sudha, and, and over to you. So, farmer-centric innovations with 10 million potential and a very sharp lens on making sure that these are solutions that have uh, a very positive bearing on uh, the environment, are environmentally sustainable, uh, that help bring about uh, social equity and justice, right? So it's basically closing the access gap, the agency gap that exists in Indian farming today. Um, before the start of the session, we got a lot of questions and I'll kind of uh, start from uh, the questions that came in in the morning. Uh, the first one is to Dr. Sapna uh, and Naga perhaps, uh, which is what can an entrepreneur expect uh, to find on the Kisan Mitra platform as a service? Uh, you speak about lab to farm support. Is that access at the time of collective requirements? Is it at the time of go to market? What should one expect uh, as a service from the platform? And also what data is available on the platform that can benefit entrepreneurs? Is it specific to certain geographies and crop chains? Uh, if yes, what are you? Uh, would like to get a sense of what is available there. Sure. Um, so, uh, basically, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, there was an entire template uh, of sorts which covered all of this uh, because data collection, collation, analysis and upload was quite a task uh, because we are talking about uh, national level uh, data. So, um, an entrepreneur, uh, first of all, can get himself registered and get a login. And then uh, he could, um, you know, share all um, the technologies that he has in certain sections. So if he has agriculture technologies, then there's a section for small farm drones or, you know, whatever is the type or cluster that he belongs to. If he's into livestock technologies, then there, there are clusters there. And then if it, he's into scientific research, which is related to seed or farm practices, weather, etc., then there is a third one. All technologies have hardcore um, uh, basic technologies, uh, which has which uh, uh, mechanical and so on. And then you also have digital technologies. So it could be any kind which would help the farmer. Uh, the whole idea is, um, as Naga mentioned, it has to be farmer centric. So from the very beginning, the template was very clear that you need to state which are the farmer producing organizations you went to for your problem statement. 
where did the immersion come from what was the problem statement how did you understand it how did you build the technology did you do a market st study during that time in terms of the different markets uh, which uh, uh, the different technologies which are already available in the market so that we don't duplicate it what is your unique selling proposition uh, in terms of uh, you know being better than the market uh, and then uh, and so on and so forth uh, and what was the test uh, that you did with the farmer producing organizations and the farmers what was the result Uh, what is the price point and uh, you know why is it lower than uh, others in the market and so on so it's a absolute review of your technology as much as we could do without a physical review so every row or every technology needs to go through this entire exercise and you need to fill in all of this data uh, i i don't think we are 100% there uh, we have managed to collate, collate it uh and the data analysis is to be done uh, because of the bandwidth issues that we have right now we are cleaning up the data from the back end but however i can say that at least 60 70% of the database is quite uh, you know quite clear and neat uh so the entrepreneur can first of all upload his data which means that the entire world uh, can see it and uh, when i say world i don't mean only india i also mean international geographies because we have also tied up with uh cii's geeta if you have heard of this concept they have about 12 countries uh, and so all the countries are linked to kisan mitra uh, and hence um, uh, you know farmer producing organizations as well as incubators and investors and those who wanting to buy the farm technology are uh, you know can enter through this gateway of uh, geeta to kisan mitra and hence uh, it's made available to all of them in about uh, seven or eight uh, foreign languages uh similarly you also can engage so there's a um, a telemedicine uh, you know video calls uh, that we have organized so you can engage with the customer or the incubator you can fix a meeting and uh, have a video call on the platform similarly you can give uh, you know uh, the demand person or any other supplier could also write write about the technology give a rating for the technology and so on so the supplier or as we call him uh, technologist or a researcher who has his technology uh, on this uh, um, needs to provide the details and engage on this platform as deeply as he wants and investors can also uh, you know um, uh, search for you source you and incubators can search for you and so on so you could be at any stage and you could uh, mention which stage you are in that particular template and it gets reclustered re based on that so that the investors are not wasting their time in the wrong mark in the market ready uh, space they are actually going into the tier 3 to tier 9 sections and this to thanks for sharing the schedule you have a session coming up on the 27th uh, i think at some publish the entire calendar that you have in terms of outreach uh, and on the series uh, by the end of the year um, the prize this is for every challenge website will also have a calendar for the knowledge series uh, over the next two and a half three months uh, will have intensive opportunities to learn uh from the best and the brightest in each sector uh immersion opportunities basically connects to uh forming communities and the end customers uh, offered through the platform as well uh so stay tuned the website is prize.thenatch.org/cisco-agri-challenge um kind of have posted it in the discussion board here as well the deadline for applications is is february 15th uh we would love to see your application in a very simple six question format uh to understand what problem you are solving what have you done how many customers have you spoken to uh, to get a deeper understanding of their experience how have you identified the opportunities for innovation and what is your innovation um and even as you do that uh do register yourself on the website because that's where uh we'll kind of pick up the list to send information on the knowledge sessions uh to and kind of keep you engaged 
uh, on any learning opportunities or immersion opportunities that could help you prepare that application. Yeah. Uh, following the first application, there's a three month period of creating a prototype during which we'll again uh, uh, have a series of small pitch days. Uh, think of yourself as in an arena and there's a whole ringside of viewers looking at your innovation and offering to collaborate and partner with you on that journey. From the pitches, we'll shortlist uh, the five organizations that move into the finals. We hope to have some wild cards as well in addition to the five. Uh, that's basically everyone that is able to create uh, a prototype solution with 10 million potential. From June to December, we have uh, an intensive on-ground implementation of your idea with go-to-market supporters. Uh, during this time, we'll also have access to engineering IP and innovations coming out of NSR cell IM Bangalore as well as Purdue University. Uh, we'll have pitch days for you to raise funding from our investor circle, which today includes Omnivore, uh, founder Mark Khan is also on uh, the advisors, the export, uh, panel of advisors. Um, we have uh, Avishkar, a very large fund with an interest in agri-tech, Mentera, as well as Ankur Capital taking ringside view positions, and also I am Ahmedabad's uh, Bharat Innovation Fund. Um, we expect this whole challenge to bring a certain vitality. Uh, you are the talent. Uh, the investors will come. The innovations will happen. Uh, the governments will come, and policy doors will open uh, and kind of bring the much-needed vitality to the agritech uh, startup space. Uh, I still do not see any questions. Uh, yeah. There is one. Okay. This is only for early stage startups. Um, it is for early stage ideas, even though your startup may have been registered. Uh, uh, before, so you might be an older organization with a new business model or a new innovation. Uh, that's what this is for. It is for individuals and groups of individuals, less than 10 in number, uh, who would find stage appropriate support from the ecosystem that we have curated for you. That was a question from Jay Kumar. Are we close to launch? When we launched this morning, uh, Murugan, do you want to chime in? Oh, they are close to launch. Oh, okay. Yes. That's the perfect stage. Right. While we call this an inducement price challenge, I think the ideal candidate is someone that has deeply understood the problem. So if you engage with the problem for at least six months, have a good uh, concept of a solution in your mind, then will actually help you accelerate through the course of the next 12 months and cover somewhere between three to five years of distance by 2022. Right? That's the whole objective of pulling together an ecosystem of this nature. Because simple things like how Naga was saying, even approaching a farming community and gaining their trust is a multi-quarter process, if not a multi-year process. And here you have a platform that will enable that in weeks, if not days. Right? So it's a, a very thoughtfully curated uh, design to help cut down the unnecessary time, increase the learning, and increase the growth, kind of help you achieve a nice hockey stick kind of curve. If there are no more questions, I think we'll call it a wrap. Thank you, everyone, for that. Has if, uh, if you have time, I think I can show the platform if you want. Absolutely, to of course. Yeah. There's a share button right next to the video.
you are able to see that uh, sudha yes perfectly okay good so this is your um, kisan metra website and uh, we have this home coming up and on the top you can see that the, here is a recent butter where uh, sapna was mentioning so you could just go register as a supplier or a buyer so what we call supplier is all the technology innovators and if you want to explore and uh, there are uh, corporate wanting to support and uh, so you can just log in as a buyer so a lot of people in the idea stage that we have today are uh, there a lot of startups are logging in and trying to explore and then try to see what are all the things available so you can do that through the register if you already registered you can do as a supplier yeah and if you are a farmer you can um, just get an otp and uh, get logged in because it's very difficult for a farmer to have an email id etc so um, you can see this um, tiles we have this agri tech livestock and this kalamitra so as sapna mentioned so uh, the in earlier days a farmer was having a multiple revenue sources right so that is not just dependent on a mono crop so i think today with the mono crop there is a failure in say banana price and he is stuck and is 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 falling in the debt so how do we ensure that not only is growing some vegetables but he has his livestock technology there are hundreds of them that he is able to get that as well you know whether it is a goat farming or anything else so you can look at these livestock technology as well there is quite a lot around you know disease management and uh, you know feed all kind of things so similarly once you have your uh, agri tech and uh, you have your uh, cattle and so if you are a banana farmer for example you are not relying on just selling the banana right so you have your banana stem and what can you do with the stem that's where the idea of the kalamitra is about the fibers right so you can try to make how do you make a banana fiber it can be used as a rope that you can make products or you can make a you know fabric out of banana so that there is a multiple revenue source coming in even his family that somebody could start weaving a basket with using the banana fiber right so there is an opportunity for that as well so providing a three source of uh, revenue stream for him from the agri tech to uh, livestock and the crafts so that's where this idea is behind this one so once you have clicked a technology for example so here is an ihr technology this person is using to convert a waste into a fertilizer you will find the detail about the product and you have your contact details so you can just try to communicate with them so that you are able to have a discussion with him so that uh, you know you'll be able to have a dialogue right then there are market ready products right if you are a startup we don't want any, we want we don't want to encourage that you're just selling blindly about this uh, e-commerce kind but these are all the things that how you can improve the productivity or any other drudgery of a farmer right so so these are all this readily available product from these technologies that you can try to buy and uh, as uh, sapna was mentioning that we have the himalayan bazaar which is unique to the you know uh, the region where we have uh, the entire himalayan belt whatever is growing you have a quite a bit of uh, nutrient value in it so meghalaya produces the haldi which is the highest curcumin country uh, content in the world so how can we just get products from there so that uh, we are able to sell it so there is a separate section for uh, himalayan bazaar that we have and people can probably click and then communicate with the hpos from each states in the himalayan uh, uh, bazaar and they have uploaded there are small farmer uh, uh, farmer groups like hpos so they have provided their information that you are able to reach out to them as well then the outreach as i was mentioning there are 146 plus we have session that we have done we have uh, niam is doing sessions nascom did earlier we have the nsr cell we have uh, if you click that you will see the recording of these so the last all this 46 plus sessions you will see 
the details of the innovation, what they are presenting. So this is a great thing I was mentioning about the Telangana University. So the VZ came and spoke and uh, in, in, in uh, November, I think we were able to see that very soon. They were able to figure out a way how do they want to take this product to the market. So this is the Niam one. So each technology is being talked for one hour so that you can go detailed about each one of these things that they talked about. And uh, the international collaboration as well. So in, as uh, uh, Sapna was mentioning earlier, we have uh, uh, international visitors coming to this platform as well. They are able to come in. And for example, so the agri tech, there are classifications there. So if I choose this drone, so you can see this all these drone technologies that from various startups as well as IIT Guwahati. So we start our session always with the uh, farmer coming doing a what we call as a reverse pitch. So this farmer one day uh, from Northeast came and mentioned about the logistics, right? Moving uh, vegetables from the hilly regions is very, very tough. So now IIT Guwahati is, uh, came forward to build a, you know, to lift 100 kg worth of produce from a hilly area with 100 kg payload with the uh, drone. So like this, there is reverse pitch happening as well. You can see that's quite a bit happening. And uh, that's pretty much it, Sudha. So yeah, good. so I think what's very interesting is that this is a platform for discovery. So even as you're starting up on your journey of being an entrepreneur in this space, you can go look up what others have tried and kind of learn from their experience as well. So very, very exciting to see this all in one place. Yes. Uh, producers, uh, entrepreneurs, buyers, uh, the entire value chain in agriculture. Right. Uh, so that, that's exactly uh, the vision that w this has to be a national repository of sorts so that we don't duplicate efforts or funds, uh, whoever it may be. And you also amplify the learnings and best practices, which is so valuable. Uh, yeah. And also taking it to the global markets, uh, because now that with the uh, you know current reforms, we can also go global. So we could take the agriculture technologies globally as well. Understood. So very nice interest from Ravi Bhushan. I've uh, shared the link on the discussion board as well, Ravi, both for Kisan Mitra and the price platform. Uh, like I said, if your application itself will take time, don't worry about it. Go register yourself on the site. We'll kind of establish a channel of communication for us to hear about your progress and for you to hear what opportunities we offer uh, for learning and for engaging with the right stakeholders. All right, so thank you very much for everyone that tuned in and stayed this long. It's been a very long day, very intense day, with just so much density of thoughts and insights and ideas and the conversations. We've been going on for over six hours now. Um, and it's just been a fabulous uh, experience for all of us here at the Naga. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sapna. Thank you, Naga. Thank you, Murugan Nayantara for taking the hour off to spend the time with us. Thanks, and Thanks Sudha. The launch has done. The work has just begun. Really looking forward. To it. Thank you, everyone. And good luck, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, look forward. Thanks, everyone. Thank Bye. Bye.